I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. I also want to acknowledge all the Hakyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, I'm going to go in on uh, St. John 14. All right, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. So, you know, we don't have time to be depressed. We don't have time to be um, that woe is me spirit. Because, you know, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, right? It's in the red letter. He told us, don't let your mind be troubled. So whatever brothers are going through, you know, we, we, we just got to move on, you know. Remember, Yahweh doesn't give us anything that we can't um, overcome or, or, you know, something's too unbearable for us. Uh, in verse 2, it says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So those mansions, that, that, that word mansion, it goes into dwelling. And what Yahweh Shai is talking about, he's not talking about a, a big house like a mansion. He's actually talking about planets, okay? It's a metaphor. And he says, if it were not so, I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you. So we we know where Yahweh, Yahweh Shai went. He, went. he went to the heavens, right? Um, let's see. Let's get it in Acts 9, 1 and 9. Yes, lucky. Relax, relax. Acts 1 and 9, it says, And when he had spoken these things, talking about Yahweh Shai, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right? And then we got to remember what a cloud is, according to the scriptures. It's not a fluffy cloud like you think. In this, you know, in the verse in uh, Acts, it's talking about a cloud, a chariot. Psalm 104 and 3, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. All right. So that's what it is. He went into a chariot. When you look in that chariot, that um, word chariot, it goes into a rekab, which means a, 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 a vehicle. It's, so it's a heavenly vehicle, which would you call you would call it a UFO. Matter of fact, we had a, a, a chariot come to the camp this weekend, and it was, uh, you know, it was pretty, um, pretty amazing. It was a, uh, it was in the form of a, uh, it looked like letters, like Hebrew letters in the sky, and and really it, it looked kind of like a bird, really high up. With the brother, one of the brothers took a picture of the chariot, right, and it, and it, when he zoomed in on the picture, then it looked like um, letters. So it was pretty heavy. Uh, vehicle chariot cloud we saw right or and, well, I guess I shouldn't say cloud but it was a chariot um, just because some of the clouds are chariots but not not all of them look like clouds all right so we'll go back to John 14 and 3 it says and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself and that where I am there you may be also right so in Revelation 1 and 7 it tells you behold he cometh with clouds right remember this chariots and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so so be it <coughs> Amen. right so He's coming back the same way he left. It tells you that in Acts 1 and uh, 10. And, and the other thing is, is you know, the, the ones who pierced him, those Romans who are back on the earth today, Edomites, um, every eye shall see him and, and they also which pierced him. Right? It shows you reincarnation in that verse also because the ones who actually put him on the cross, they're reincarnated and they're here in Babylon, America, and they're going to they're gonna witness uh, his second coming, right? Let's go back to John. John 14. 
verse 4. And remember, he said in 3, he said that where I am, there ye may be also. So we're going to we're gonna have space travel. We're going to have chariots. You know, we're going to have more than we can fathom, according to the scripture. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, or unto the Father, but by me. So you got to go through Yahweh Shai to, to, you know, you can't go directly to the Father. You know? You got to go directly to Yahweh Shai, which is discomfort of what we're reading, the truth. Because remember, he's the truth. In the flesh. He's the life in the flesh. Right? He's the comforter, which the comforter are the words in the scriptures. The, another word for the, the you know the, the scriptures is com the comforter. Verse 7. And if ye had known me, ye should have known my father also, and from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. And Yahweh Shai saith unto him, have I have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how says thou then, show us the Father? See, how says like, bro, I look just like my dad. He basically is what he's telling him. Right? And he had the same spirit as Yahweh. So he's pretty much, you know, a, a mirror image of his father. Just like in the world, you see sons who look like their fathers. And they act like them. They have their tendencies, right? Well, this is the not no different in the case of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Ten, believest thou not not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? I'm talking about the Spirit. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Remember, Yahweh is the one who ordains everything. He controls everything. He controls the Spirit, all the spirits. You know, even Esau's spirit, right? So we know that. Verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Or else believe me for every, for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that be, be, believeth on me, the works I do shall he also do, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So he's talking about his men. His prophets, his disciples, right, who become apostles, the ones he prayed for in John 17, right? So, you know, we're going to be able to do greater things than Yahweh Shai according to Yahweh Shai. Miracles is what, what he's talking about, right? Verse 13, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Right, everything we do in Yahweh, this name is a Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, and we're not here to do, when we do anything, when we go out and teach this video I'm doing, I'm not here to glorify myself by me teaching the word of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. I'm glorifying the Father and the Son, okay? If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it, right? So you got to ask in the true name. If you want something, and if it's the Lord's will, you got to call on Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. You can't just say any fucking name, right? You can't say God, you can't say JC. You know, verse 15, if ye love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Right. So what's the other comforter? It's the scripture. Right. We have the words of Yahweh Hashem Yoshai to read daily in this, in this book, in the book, in the Bible. The word Bible means book, by the way. 17, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because see it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Right? The spirit of truth, the world does not receive. The majority of the world. And really, he's talking about the world of uh, Israel. Two-thirds of the, the world of Israel does not even receive him. Even in this awakening in these last days. They hang on to the lies, right? I'm always saying that in these videos. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me. Because I live, ye also shall live. At that day ye shall know that I am in, that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. 
talking about the spirit. We all have the same spirit. The brethren, we just, uh, you know, the brethren have the same spirit. All the Yahweh uh, And it's it's a it's a phenomenon, you know. We just had a brother visit the Denver camp from uh, Chicago, and it was like we knew him forever. You know, we we linked up. He, he you know, we hung out a few times. Uh, we didn't. He wasn't able to come to camp with us because he had left. His flight was, you know, before it was time to, you know, do camp. So we didn't get to hold camp with him. But just uh, uh, the times that we hung out with him, the two the two nights that we hung out with the brother in, in fellowship, hey, he's like uh, he's just like one of us in the camp. You know, we're all on one accord. All right. It says here in verse twenty two. Judah saith unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Right? So Judas was, and it's not Iscariot either, by the way, it's a different Judas. But he's, he's asking, how are you going to show us, but you're not going to show the whole world, or even the, the world of Israel? Right? And Yahushai answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Right, meaning dwell with him. That's what that word abode means. So the, the, the spirit is dwelling with the men of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai. And that's why this guy Judas, he asked, hey, what about the whole world? What's about everything? He said, look, the only, the only ones that Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai are going to dwell with are the ones who love him, the ones who keep his commandments, keep his sayings. And that's what we do. We try to keep his, uh, you know, his commandments and his, and his uh, you know, ordinances, laws to the best of our ability. And one of them is by teaching, right? 24, he that loveth me, not, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. Right, so you got these people talking about, oh, well, I'm a Christian and I'm this and that. And they're worshiping a, a they're worshiping a, a false image, or a false uh, Hamashiach, because they don't believe in him as he, as it is written. Or they say, oh yeah, I'm I'm a Christian, but but uh, you know I'm a, they also say, oh they're homosexual. Well, you can't. That's an oxymoron. You can't be both. You can't serve two masters, right? So these people don't keep the sayings and the and the commandments, right? Um, verse 25 These things have I been spoken unto you Being yet present with you But the comforter Which is the Holy Spirit Because there's no word for ghost in the Hebrew It would have said spirit Whom the Father will send in my name He shall teach you all things And bring all things to your remembrance Whatsoever I have said unto you So we get, we're, we get all this knowledge And understanding Because what he said here in this verse The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Scripture is is uh it has given us remembrance and understanding on these scriptures and on these verses and on these parables and we're coming into remembrance right the uh, the book of uh, malachi tells you that it's a book of remembrance right let's see Maybe it's Micah. I'm confused. I get those confused sometimes. Let's see. It might be Micah. Actually, you know what? Let me just look it up because I don't think it's. Maybe it's not Micah. Let's see. Oh yeah, I was. I went to Malachi. That's what happened there. Malachi. I said what I, exactly what I went to. Malachi three sixteen. Okay, here we go. Malachi three sixteen. And then they they that feared Yahweh spoke spake often one to another. It's talking about the the prophets, right? And Yahweh hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh and that thought upon his name. So you think that these people who are calling on just the, the title God are coming in in remembrance of the truth? 
How can they? Because it says here that thought upon his name. You, God's not a name. That's a that's a title, right? You have to understand the name. You have to think on his name. That's one of the things that's going to grant you that remembrance. And we know that only the elect are going to... Wow, let's get it real quick. Um, only the elect can appraise his holy name, right? As it tells you in Ecclesiastes 17 and 10. Ecclesiasticus 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. See that? Only the elect. doesn't say... Remember, that word elect goes in eklektos in Greek, which means chosen. So you can say... And the chosen shall praise his holy, his holy name. Everybody's not chosen, man. Like these fake pagan Christians try to tell you. No, not everybody's chosen. If they, it would just say everybody. It wouldn't say the chosen, right? There's all, that's why most people call it on a false name. Because they're not of the elect. John 14. And uh, where, are we at? where are we at? Where are we at? Let's see. 24, no, 25, oh, uh, no, 27. Peace I leave with you, and my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And remember, he's repeating himself, because he said that on the very first verse in John 14, 1. Don't let your mind be troubled, man. Brothers, we ain't got time to be depressed. We ain't got time to be, uh, you know, bothered by... Uh, by these these women bothered by this you know the job whatever bothered by the you know the politics bothered by Babylon yes we get vexed but you gotta always bring it back to the stability of who we are which is wisdom that we have that's what that brings that stability and we shouldn't be vexed in our minds you know whatever if you are vexed in your mind you bet you re redirect yourself all right and uh, you know. Remember who we are. Remember who you are. If you're one of the Lord's prophets, remember who you are. All right, let's see. Verse 28. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. But he, thou was shy, tells you, they're not, they're, they're not one being like some people think. It's one that they're, hey, oh, they say, oh, Yahushai is God. They say, they say, oh, well, you know, they call him JC. So they say, oh, JC is, he's God. No, he's the son of God, son of Yahweh. Yahushai is the son of Yahweh. And Yahweh is greater than Yahushai. It tells you right here in this verse. So quit saying that they're one person or one entity, all right? That's madness. 29. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Right. So, hey, we're, we already believe, right? The, the men in the right spirit, the men who are in the same spirit as Yahweh Bashem Yashai. So when he returns, when it comes to pass, how much more belief are we going to have? When, we, when he cracks the clouds in the sky and the heavens, man, it's going to be a beautiful day for the, the elect. Especially the Lord's uh, disciples and servants and prophets. Verse 30. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Who was the prince of the world in Yahweh Shai's time? It was the Roman, he, was in, he was in the Roman captivity. And now Babylon America is an extension of the Roman captivity. So really they're deciding who the prince of the world is right now. And, and it might be... It might be the, the prince uh, over there. Uh, it, it might be a princess. If uh, Joe Biden dies or, or whatever, he's stepping down from the, ra the election race. So, hey, it might be a princess, which, you know, she'll get overtaken by uh, by uh, Trump, you know, eventually. That's what could happen, man. And I'm just speaking as a man. But I, I'm, I'm thinking that my, wasn't it Joe Biden might pass away some illness or whatever health issue uh, Kamala will be the president chaos is going to be uh, um, you know there's going to be nothing but chaos if she becomes the president because he he dies and then if they do the election or if when the election comes then it's going to be uh, you know DJT you know old, old Donald J. Trump right so you know and I'm just speculating as a man so 
but you know, let me keep reading, 31. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do arise, let us go hence. All right. And remember, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is arising in the prophets and the men too. You know, we're waking up just like, just like Yahweh Shai was raised up on the third day. Back then, he was what three? Well, I think one of the I heard one of the uh, elder apostles say it was that fourth day, right? But it's uh, metaphorically speaking, we're raising up in the third day also because uh, it tells you in Peter that. Uh, one day is as a thousand years to Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai, or I'm sorry, to Yahweh. But so Yahweh Shai was uh, basically, um, you know, over 2,500 years ago, which would make this, we're in the third day, right? If a day is as a year. You know, let me just get that verse and I'll close out on that verse. One day is as a thousand years to God. Let's see, you got to say God when, you, when you're Googling stuff because they don't have the true name, right? They keep that name, they keep that name from us. You got to understand that, I mean, sometimes you, this thing of ours requires critical thinking. So you got to think critically, like, why, why in the hell would your enemy give you the true name when he knows there's power in that name? And he knows that's a threat to his kingdom, right? Um, let's go Second Peter 3 and 8. It says at the top of your screen, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with Yahweh as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So like I said, we're in that over 2,500, I'm sorry, uh, 2,500 2, years ago, over, Yahweh Shai was uh, in Rome, right? And here we are in the extension of Rome, Babylon, America, which, according to this parable, a thousand years is one day. So guess what? We're also raising up on in the third day. All right? So I hope the lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rekah Kodash. The bonus goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge the Akiyam. Who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the land.